Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rechakodash. Double honors unto our apostles and others, a great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sons of Akim out there that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone Miami Camp coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and Lord willing to satisfy him. Uh, this is going to be a quick exhortation lesson, okay? Going into how we must hold on, okay? We must hold on, we must hang on, and not let go, okay? <laughs> We're holding on for dear life. And I'm speaking about this faith, this this uh truth, this thing of ours, okay? The words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the doctrine, okay? As a matter of fact, let me uh bring out this scripture real quick. I believe this uh. Maybe that's in First Timothy. First Timothy four, maybe. Right, this is First Timothy chapter four and verse thirteen. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Okay, and the gift that is in us. Is the gift of the Holy Spirit. All right, the gift of faith, which was given to us, uh, as the scriptures say, faith cometh by hearing. And who do we hear this truth from? The presbytery, which is the body of elders, the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Okay, the scriptures also, you know, uh, says, uh, You know, a rough paraphrase and knowing of whom thou has learned them. We 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 must know wholeheartedly that this truth that we have received is the truth of the most high. This is the, the truth of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. We have the hundred percent truth. We must believe that by faith. Okay, we can't neglect the gift, you know, whatever measure or portion the most high has gifted us with, we can't neglect it. All right. We must use our talents. The scriptures say, uh, has thou faith, have it to thyself before the most high. All right. Verse 15, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay, so this doctrine, taking heed unto this doctrine, is what's going to save us. And not only ourselves, but those that hear us. So we're holding on to this thing for dear life. Okay? Our salvation depends on it. Just like you have, you know, in in uh, in the physical, physically, carnally speaking, you may be uh, falling off a cliff or off a ledge, and you, you holding on, like in the movies, you see they they hanging on, because if they fall, they may, you know, fall to their death. That's that's how we are in this truth, and we're hanging on to to the words of the Lord, and we can't. We can't uh, let them slip, as it says in uh, Hebrews, I believe. As a matter of fact, let's, let's see what this. Right, this is Hebrews chapter 2 and uh, verse 1. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Right? This truth. Lest at any time... We should let them slip. Okay, so just like physically hanging on for dear life, you gotta hold tight. You gotta grip tight, or if you if you slip, 
that's that's your ass okay and that that couldn't be more true in uh, uh relating to this truth because if you go back into the world if you, if you lose your faith if you give up hope that's it the scriptures say no man looking back uh no man that put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom okay once once you 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 lose your faith and you you turn back and go back in the world that's that's it for you so we got to hold this truth tight okay take heed all right and that's how the, the spirit of our forefather Jacob whose name was changed to Israel was in and I'm going to, you know, to re read this account of how Yaikwab, okay, whose name was changed to uh, Yashar Allah, he wrestled an angel, man. And he fought for a blessing. And that spiritually uh, foreshadows his seed, okay? The elect of his seed. Who we, uh, we believe we are by faith. And we're fighting for the for our birthright or our blessing, which is the kingdom of heaven. This is Genesis 32 and 24. And Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled him. Okay, and we know this man that Jacob was wrestling was an angel. And, and Jacob was was getting uh, the best of him to the point where the angel had to, you know, basically use use his power to uh, disable uh, Jacob, disable Yaikwab to the point where his his thigh is his, his his thigh actually went out of joint. <laughs> Which, if you look that up, that's a that's a a, a serious injury. Okay. Verse 26, and he said, Let me go for the day breaketh. So this is the angel begging Jacob to let him go. <laughs> and he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Alright. So Jacob, see, Jacob rightly was his name uh Jacob, man. Yaikwab some planter. He he understood that, you know. I'm I, I'm I'm getting a blessing out of this. I'm not just gonna let this man go. He he gotta give me something. If you want me to let him go, he gotta give me something. Just like uh Esau wanted wanted uh those lentils. Yaikov understood that you gotta you gotta fight <laughs> you gotta fight for your blessing. And ain't nobody just gonna give you anything. You you gotta you gotta take it spiritually okay and we're working out our salvation lord willing we of the elect and it's you know it's already set up that way but we have to uh give diligence to make a calling and election sure all right verse 27 and he said unto him what is thy name and he said jacob all right in the hebrew yaikwa okay he he supplants <laughs> Verse 28, and he said, thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel. All right, Yeshar Allah. He's a prince of the power. For as a prince has thou power with the most high and with men and has prevailed. Okay, so the angel told him, your new name is going to be Yashar Allah. Because you are a prince of the most high. The most high power. And, and and you have power. Okay? And that that uh that omen nomen all right name prediction that falls down to to uh the elect of his seed in these latter days. Start with the 144,000, 12,000 out of each tribe. Okay, we're all spiritual uh supplanters first and foremost. Cause we we're gonna uh 
you know, take the scripture say the saints to take the kingdom. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And we're all princes of the power. That's our name that the Most High gave us. And we have to use this power that the Most High gave us. We have to use this strength to hang on, to endure, to fight. So in this walk, in, in his faith, just like uh, our forefather uh, Jacob wrestled the angel, we're, we're battling and wrestling these, these uh, different entities and spirits on the left-hand side. The scriptures tell you that in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me read that real quick. This book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, so there's adverse, uh, uh, you know, and, and uh, spirits out there to counter the Holy Spirit. Okay. This righteous vibration, this righteous spirit that we get from, from the Most High, from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and, and laboring in this work, you got counter, you know, left hand spirits that's trying to uh, get us out of this uh, this faith that we have. So it's a fight, it's a battle, and plus on top of that, we're in the flesh. So this is this is a, a real fight. And it's not always going to be easy, man. It's going to be hard sometimes. You're going to you're going to fall. A righteous man falls seven times. And 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 it's easy to just give up. It's easy to just say, you know, F it. I'm just I'm not going to uh get back up this time. I'm just stay down. Because it, it requires energy to, to, to keep getting back up. It requires faith to keep pushing. And to not let go and to keep striving for the for the masteries. And that, that can weigh weigh on you, man. But that's that's a part of the battle. That's something we must bear. Okay? You gonna have them spirits, them demons in your mind trying to tell you just give up, just just faint. Well you you can't do that, man. The scriptures say, Woe to him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not uh not be defended. Roughly paraphrasing. So our faith in the Lord is what's gonna uh you know give the Lord the the the, the motivation to defend us. When he looked down from, from heaven and see his men fighting with faith, that's that's what's gonna uh you know make him want to raise up a standard for him. Lord willing, we be of that elect. Okay? So, that's meeting the Lord halfway. Because we can't do this on our own. But if the Lord see that you're still fighting and, and striving, he, He's going to carry you the rest of the way. And that's the whole point. That's, that's the key. All right? The Lord, when I can end off with this, it's just a quick, you know, exhortation I wanted to bring out. This is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. All right, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, and he's coming quickly, man. These prophecies is rolling. The scriptures say, Your salvation is nearer than when ye believe. When we believe, the scriptures say the Lord is going to come in an hour, you know, which, you know, the wicked servants think not. That's why he told us to watch and pray. And, and don't say in your heart that the Lord delay if it's coming. But to know he come quickly. So we don't even have to know in your mind. You don't have to hang on for that much longer. Okay? Because when Yahweh Shai comes back, that's it. Lord will be of that elect. We will be delivered. The fight is going to be over after that. So fight now. Okay, it's a lot. Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. Okay, fast meaning tight. Like you fasten your seatbelt tightly. 
So we're we're holding on tight to what we have and, and what what is that we have the doctrine. Like we uh, open up with in First Timothy, okay? Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, okay? So we holding on to this truth for dear life, okay? That no man take our crown, that no man take our uh position, or our opportunity. Okay, uh, 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 of being one of the Lord's elect. Because if you're of the Lord's elect, you will have a, a rule and authority in the kingdom of heaven. You're going to reign with Yahweh Shai. He's going to physically place a crown upon your head. That's what it's all about. And that's what we're fighting for. And it's and it's <laughs> more, way more than I can ever explain with words, okay, uh, we're fighting for. All right, so we're holding on for dear life. Continue to hang on. Continue to fight. All right, and with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kudash. Double honors to our apostles who nailed us a great millstone. Until the next lesson, Shalom.